so we're back to the original ZBrush tool right here. And I'm going to hit P to get out of perspective. And one thing that you will tend to happen quite often is that you want to bring in color from a texture map that you have created. And you want to transfer that texture map onto your poly paint. Again, if I go to RGB, deselect Z at Z sub and just work on the color and select a color. Notice that we're able to paint on our character because right now we're using what's called poly paint. The painting information gets transferred onto the geometry. We've learned how to export that color information into a color map. Now, if you look at poly paint, notice that colorize is on. However, if I go to my texture map, notice that I don't have any textures. If I wanted to bring in a texture and then transfer that texture to this mesh, what we would have to do first is to bring in the texture. So I'm going to go to my texture menu right here. I'm going to select this window. And I'm going to go to import. You can do the same thing by going to this window right here. Go to import and bring in the texture that we exported before. I'm going to hit open. And as you can see, the texture has been loaded into our texture menu. However, we need to bring in this texture to the texture map. The way that we do this is we click on the texture map window, click on the texture that you brought in, and I'm going to go to import. And there you have it. Your texture now has been loaded as a texture map. However, as soon as you start painting, you will notice that nothing is happening. That is because your mesh has been wrapped with this texture map. So in order for us to paint, we have to turn off the texture map. And by doing so, the texture that we wanted to bring in has disappeared. Again, with the understanding that the texture map is used a wrapping for your mesh, what we need to do, we need to go to poly paint and we have to create what's called poly paint from the texture. If I click on this, what's going to happen is that ZBrush will take the color information from the texture map right here and apply it to the poly paint. And again, let me turn off the texture map so you can see what we have. Now let me go to poly paint and I'm going to do poly paint from texture. Now the color information from the texture map has been transferred into our poly paint. Now notice that our texture map was turned off automatically and now we are ready to paint. However, because we have this texture in our texture window right here, we are going to paint with our texture, as you can see. Let me zoom in so you can see the effect better. And if I start painting, notice that we are painting with a texture. What we need to do is we need to turn off that texture. Let me undo. And I'm going to go to my texture window right here. And I'm going to select texture off. And now we are ready to paint again using poly paint. And remember, we are not painting on our texture map, we are painting on the mesh. And this is how we transfer color information from a texture map onto our mesh in ZBrush.